this time of year, everybody's thinking about New Year's resolutions, right? And some people already feel like they've fallen off the wagon. Well, I have a different perspective for you. This year, my commitment, I decided not to call it an intention. I started out with intention. That's not quite enough. My commitment is self-care. And really, that's scriptural. And it's what we would do, if we would advise any of our friends to treat their friends well. The scripture says, love your neighbor as yourself. So I'm focusing on self-love. I don't have a weight to go because you see that will happen really by kind of as a byproduct because if I take care of myself and reduce the stress in my life, you know, stress causes insulin to go up, and insulin tells your body to store fat. So, my weight will be fine if I reduce stress. I won't have, I won't need a weight loss goal. So, I'm going to go through some of the things that I'm doing for myself. I'm focusing on my health. I'm focusing on taking my health to the next level. This is the next step in my journey. Uh, last year I had a couple of um, x-rays on my back and there was a curve that is causing some problems. So I need to de-stress because tense, tight muscles and stress can move bones. So I'm focusing on healing, self-care, <sighs> peace. So the first thing I do in the morning is before I even leave my bedroom suite, I do some stretches. I get moving a little bit. I do a little bit of yoga. So some mornings, you know, maybe it's um, maybe it's five minutes. Maybe some mornings it's um, ten minutes. Maybe some mornings I do twenty minutes. But. A SMART goal, I know you know the acronym, Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Timed. But I'm going to be gracious to myself, and I'm going to say most mornings I'm going to do some yoga. How's that? So that's the first step. Let's, uh, I'll take you to my next step. So the next step is most mornings I'm going to spend some time in my sauna. And I'm, sp and I'm spending some time in meditation while I'm in the sauna. But I'm not meditating about my to-do list. I'm meditating on my healing and imagining how good it feels to be completely healthy and feel comfortable and full of energy. So here we are in my personal sauna. That's going to be the next step. Now we'll take you to the next step. So the benefit of the sauna is to detox, but it also is also very healing. That heat is healing to your cells. Well, then you're all sweaty and yucky and you really need to wash off all those toxins that you sweated out. So in our new house, I have this most amazing bathtub. So I might soak in the bathtub. Do you see how I'm giving myself grace? Or I have an option. Let me see if I can get around here and show you the other thing that our house has, that amazing shower head, and the lights turn colors. When the water is cold, they're blue, then they get green, then they get red. And it is so calming. I never would have gotten in that if my husband hadn't fallen in love with it. Because, you know, I don't like water on my face, but I can overcome that. Because he's right, you stand under that rain, sh rain ahead and oh, it's just, you just feel peace. It is amazing. And by this time in the morning, I am feeling so good. Let me show you another thing I'll be doing for self-care. We're so blessed with the house that we bought. You may know that we moved from Grapevine to Georgetown. And ooh, the sun is in my eyes. That's another thing I'm doing early in the morning, make my coffee, I come outside to get some sunshine. When, you're, when the sun hits your skin, it completely changes your hormones for the whole day and the night. And then we have this lovely fountain. I don't know if I can put over here and show you the fountain. So, most days, you see, I'm being gracious again, honestly, 
pretty much every day, I will come spend at least five minutes sitting here in the garden beside the sauna, relaxing. You know, when you eat lunch in a relaxed state, it allows your body to absorb the nutrients better. So many days, I just come sit outside to have lunch, and that doesn't take any time. It just incorporates some self-care because these are things that make me feel good and calm and less stressed. I would love to hear about your resolutions, your commitments, um, what your purposes and goals and intentions are this year, or share with me your tips about self-care because I would love to learn with you and walk the journey of health with you.